done. Meme review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? We are back. It is the first Thursday in May, which means gun meme review, but also means we are in level five of Jumanji. This month's prize, murder hornets. I really don't know how or why these are a thing. I don't really think I care. I'm just kind of rolling with the bunches on this one at this point. But as of course we expected them to, the AR guys are already trying to attach them to their budget Andersons. But there is a lot to talk about, a lot of sad things I'm afraid for our Canadian brothers. But before we get right into the memes, uh, like I said in the last gun meme review, we're desperately trying to get a liquor sponsor. So this one is a local company, Gold Leaf Vodka. Uh, hopefully one of them just decides to pick us up. We're done going after the big brands for now, we're trying to go for smaller ones, we'll go for anything. Mmm, this is really proving it could be bought pretty easily. Speaking of which, that leads us to this week's sponsor, LAS Concealment. LAS Concealment is a high quality holster company here in the United States that does not just make your typical Kydex holsters. Holsters like their Ronin 3.0 are CNC machined for maximum precision, which means they can make just about anything. Interesting. I personally have one on the way for a Glock 19, but it's, uh, it's not quite here yet because I spent so much time insisting they make one for a Makarov, because of course I did. I'm not sure if they're gonna go for it, but if you want, head on over to LAS Concealment's Instagram page and ask them if they would please make a Makarov holster. I would love to have the Ronin 3.0 for a Makarov. Please and thank you. But once again, we wanna thank LAS Concealment for being bold enough to sponsor Gun Meme Review. Not a lot of folks will do that, so thank you very much. Let's roll into the memes. This week's gun memes bring us over into politics, which I don't normally cover on Gun Meme Review, but this isn't politics. This is dumbass politicians trying to ban guns, so it's gun, gun memes. Okay, got that taken care of. Okay, we good? All right. Prime Minister Blackface has announced a ban of, I think, over 1,500 types of assault-style firearms, which apparently includes AR15.com. Big Fs in the chat, in the comments section, for our Canadian brothers and sisters. Everyone. Okay, 2020 hasn't been great from almost having World War III to the Chinese virus to Kobe's death, but I'm sure it'll get better. Trudeau's gun ban. Good day, gentlemen. I am here to change the future. There's no way this dude actually looks like Trudeau at all. He's got way too masculine of a jawline there. Look at that thing. He's like the McDonald's moon man. Yeah, it's a sad thing. A lot of Canadian guys have actually been uh, hitting me up on Instagram and stuff like that. And I just, I see every, every now and then. Uh, and they're talking about like, dude, I don't know what to do. Cause I think that you have two years to surrender your non-compliant firearms. And uh, then they just come to your house and take it. Cause unfortunately, our Canadian friends have let it get to that point where they, they I think they do have a registry on all firearms like that, and uh, they're going to be going bye-bye. So, Civil War Part Two, Maple Syrup Boogaloo? Shit, if you go far enough north, you could literally have Big Igloo. I think Canadian Parliament operates out of the Big Igloo. Yeah. We have the White House, they have the Big Igloo. <laughs> After Canada finally falls, and America is quickly becoming the very last place where a citizen can realistically own an AR-15. The Second Amendment. Haha, <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm not sure if that's true. I, I think there are a few other countries where you can actually, you can own AR-15s uh, to the, I'm, I'm sure at least to the degree Canada could, because I know it was, it was pretty heavily regulated up there, although you could own it still. If you're from outside the US and Canada and you can actually own an AR-15, you know, some regulations and whatnot aside, you can actually own like an AR-15 or an AK or something like that. Let me know in the comments. I'm actually, I'm curious to see that. Outside of Somalia, you know you guys don't count. Who am I kidding? You don't have internet. No step on syrup. Excellent Photoshop. I think we should start calling him Justine Tredo from now on. You know, like, don't tread on me. Justine, because he's a, he's a he's a bitch boy. Tread, Tredo, he treads. He step on syrup. Come on, do a boogaloo. Wouldn't that be a son of a bitch? Our uber polite. Northern neighbors are the ones who start booging out. I could actually see that as a legitimate business model. Running arms across the Canadian border. <laughs> For legal reasons, that's a joke. I can already tell that comment is going to age like milk. I don't think before I speak, guys, come on. I'm like a dog chasing cars. I, I just do things. Boogaloo side quest, Great White North expansion pack. Hijack the maple syrup supply train and use it to smuggle in freedom fighters. Rewards, fast travel system, plus 30 maple syrup. Unlocks playable character, Ghost of John Candy. 
That might be a planes, trains, and automobiles joke, and if it is, well done. So to sum up the current situation in Canada, referring not to the Canadian people, but instead the Canadian government, the great American Ron Swanson shares his thoughts. Dear Canada, fuck you. The mustache is spoken. Time to move on. But seriously, guys, for the, the folks that are watching in Canada, we do have a surprising amount of Canadians in the audience. That's a tough one, guys. Hopefully things can improve politically up there before that happens. I don't really know a lot about the Canadian political system off the top of my head, but I'm really hoping that you guys can get it figured out. And if not, yeah, there's really no way I can follow that up and stay monetized. <laughs> but our thoughts and prayers are with you. And if you're a Facebook mom, that's enough. But going back to Boog's side quest memes for a moment. Do you remember when I first covered those and I had one request? One very simple request. This format's fine. Please don't murder it. There's a lot of examples I could use for this, but I'm gonna use this one because you'll see. Boogaloo side quest number 420. Nice. Team up with Brandon Herrera to clear the city of any remaining alphabet boys. Reward. Gold-plated Kalashnikov. Unlocks achievement. The AK boys. Plus 85 boss status. Plus 99 hair. Plus 20 Russian. The job done on this Photoshop is incredible. They went through the effort to crop some of the white background away from that AK and then just gave up. Same with the eat pussy, do drugs shirt. And I know somebody is going to clip me saying, eat pussy, do drugs. I will regret that. <laughs> Boogaloo side quests have officially turned into, well, this. Boo quest to six, four, three, six, five, four, two, five, two, five, four, two, four, five, two, four, five, two. Yada yada, gun, ha ha ha, ATF funny, ha ya yada 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 yad, Lee, epic fud, XD, 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 D, D, drill, ha had, uh, funny, plus four virginity, minus two, stat, or something. This is basically what would happen if you took everything under the hashtag gun meme review on Instagram right now and fed it to a computer and it spit out its own version of the Boog side quest meme. I really enjoyed it when it started. Now it just kind of makes me sad. Long story short, you killed it. Jokes have a punchline. And the punchline shouldn't be murder. Murder, Goofy, shut up. I love murder. Why? Me, IRL, with family. Me online, making boog memes. That will haunt me in my nightmares. Thank you. We have plenty more memes to go to, but uh, you know, you guys complain if the gun meme reviews aren't as long as you'd like, so don't worry. I got you, homie. But before we get to any of that, one last thing that we for sure have to cover before we get to the miscellaneous stuff. And I love, I, I love Garand. I mean, Garland. He's great. I don't watch his channel because his videos don't do anything stupid. Well, they're kind of the same. I just want to fight Lucas, because I don't think Lucas has been in a hand-to-hand uh, -hand, uh, engagement ever. Uh, one versus one COD is stupid. I, I want to fist fight him. Oh my God! Oh my God! Yes, 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 yes. A million times yes. This has to happen. I will referee this thing. Fuck it, I will be the non-roided out Joe Rogan narrating the damn thing. Flannel Daddy versus Aim Bodkin. I didn't think I needed it, but I do. All right, boys, you know the rules. I want a clean fight, a fair fight, and no hits below the belt unless it is funny, in which case, absolutely send it. I totally want to see this play out. Restraining order. This order hereby declares that Garantham is not to be allowed within 15 feet of Lucas Botkin. Now I feel like the guy with the, the stick poking it. Just come on, do a fist fight. But that's enough of that. Time to get to some miscellaneous memes, because I think we have some good ones. The OG Karen. She tried to destroy her husband's AR-15, but just ended up committing a felony. She was trying to make a point, and uh, she uh, she cut off the barrel of the AR-15, not realizing she made an instant SBR, which is directly violating the NFA Act. And uh, yeah, I think it's punishable by a quarter million dollar fine or up to 10 years in prison, which did anybody ever follow up on that, or is she immune because she's a politician? Let me know in the comments. Fud in a MAGA hat. Nine millimeters for pussies and small women. I carry a 1911 in 45, but I shoot my XD 40 for fun. Everyone in the gun shop. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. 
if you find me in a local gun shop, odds are I couldn't get ammo online fast enough. What's in the box? I'm not even gonna go into this one. <laughs> but hey, Encore is a good album. When I'm walking through the parking garage at 3 a.m. with 17 rounds of 9mm Hydroshock under my Canada Goose, and a guy in Black Air Forces starts yelling he needs to talk to me for a sec. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry, but you selected the wrong one. The Black Air Forces comment is really throwing me off. When you connect your completed upper and completed lower and call it a built AR. You know, I'm something of a gunsmith myself. Also a joke from AR Guys Forsaken, guys. If this video gets over a quarter of a million views, we will bring back AR Guys vs. AK Guys. I don't want to do that series a lot because it does get old, it's the same joke, but I don't know, it's kind of our celebration we're going over 400,000 subscribers and yeah, it's kind of fun. Plus I feel like we have a lot more AR Guys in the audience now and the butthurt's gonna be great. <laughs> when you've shot tens of thousands of rounds of the cheapest steel case shit you can buy, but as soon as you try to video yourself, you get all the double feeds. I have a question. For God. Why? Them. The apocalypse will be utter chaos. No laws, no cops, total anarchy. The apocalypse. How guys that are afraid to appendix carry have sex. They don't. Hey. How guys who in the past have very poorly appendix carried have sex. Yeah, they, they can. <laughs> appendix carry is a fantastic option for concealed carry as soon as you can get over the idea that you're basically holding your dick hostage constantly. Judge. Anything else? The coat hangers gun owners have is not for laundry, but for the whoa, hey, 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 that sounds like a great place to end this episode of Gun Meme Review. Thank you guys, as always, for supporting the channel. Remember, uh, eat healthy, tip your waitresses because they're currently going against a government edict to work, and I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Bye-bye. This is basically what would happen if you took everything under the hashtag AKG not the hashtag, Jesus Christ, wrong hashtag. Ugh, one more time. I can do it, I promise. This is basically what happens if you take the entire hashtag gun meme review on Instagram. Uh, Instagram. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like one of those services where you like... No, I'm a, I'm no. A, I'm just going to say like Ababushka shows up for the day and like mits you stuff. Oh, oh okay, that makes you way soup. better than that could have been. Okay. I went wholesome. Thank you. This week's gun memes bring us to the Great White North, where our friends in that frozen tundra of... I don't know what's in Canada. I, I don't care. I've never cared. No, that's too aggressive. LAS Concealment makes high-quality holsters for a variety of handguns, and they are not your typical Kydex holster. They're 100% CNC machine for maximum... What? Uh, maximum quality, I guess. Maximum groin fitness. Groin fitness just sounds like its own category of like the Olympics. I feel like that's what Richard Simmons did. <sighs> sounds like a college elective. <clears throat> All right, let's. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these are the. This it's is like the Pilates, stuff that. Pilates, right? Yeah, this is the Groin stuff fitness. that can't make it into the video. Oh my, yeah, I like that voice crack. That was nice. One of these days, I'll make it to puberty. I'm thinking future brand stuff. I don't know. I, I'm like just. AKG tards. <laughs> G tards. <laughs> AKG tards. You gotta say G tard. Yeah. G -tards. All right. Boog Quest 64365425. It's literally just 5252. Two. I thought I was having a stroke for a moment. <laughs> the Black Air Force's comment is really throwing me off. The first time I read this really quickly, I thought we immediately just threw this away and not going to gun meme review because I'm like, oh, that's racial. I'm like, oh, wait, no, no, no those are shoes or some shit. The Skiggy Airmen are assaulting him. <laughs> You know, if this video gets over a quarter of a million dollars, or a quarter million dollars, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's <laughs> optimistic. Woo! No more cast trunnions for us, boys! Boo Quest 6436542525242452452. First, first try. Damn it. It all goes at the end, I guess.